good size floater quartz crystal from the Arten Villa mine, uh, northern province, uh, 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 now known as Limpopo province in South Africa. Uh, actually, the last major town in South Africa before you get to the uh, border with Zimbabwe. Um, Quartz in this case, well, always we look for the color in these guys, the, the blue and the turquoise, the Ajawite and the Papagawite. I don't see any in here, but I think, first of all, let's focus on the crystal form. You'll see it's crystalline right around, hence a floater, so it formed as is in nature. Uh, the pinkishness to reddishness would be caused by hematite trapped inside the, the quartz. And then now let's have a look at, I'm going to angle it in so we can actually look for color. There we go. Let's just take it in like that. Maybe a little bit struggling a bit with focus at the moment. Ah, there we go. Take it in like that. Go across like that. There's this cloudiness inside, which could be some kale and clay trapped inside the... Um, the quartz, not not like the uh, the so-called planet quartzes. This the the, the kaolin doesn't have these botryoidal uh, furball effects in this particular piece. So it's just clouds, cloudiness, and of course a lot of clarity. Um, with these guys, you definitely advise to watch the videos because the still pictures. Often you burn out most color. Look at that lovely phantom inside there. And that would be almost a quartz crystal or a formation having formed towards the original quartz crystal. Across like that. All the way from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Quartz.